Hey guys, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. It is actually at the end of September. Um, we are heading into October already, which really freaks me out. Um, I know there are only like a couple days left until the end of September, but I have a couple of things on, so I won't be reading as much, which just means that I'm going to be doing my wrap-up earlier. Um, it probably won't be up until like the first day of October though, but just know that I've got, you know, two days to read or not read. Um, but... This month wasn't that great for me. Um, again, with uni, I've been so busy. It's just a, like September is basically assignment months and test test months. Um, or well, letting come out right tests month. Um, so I had a lot to do, like a lot, um, which was really really stressful. But I did manage to sneak some reading in here and there. Um, so the first week of September was a yearathon and um, the yearathon readathon and this month's topic was new adults so I read only two um, the first one being Never Too Far I'm pretty sure by Abby Glines um, which I enjoyed I I read it to pass the time and also because I wanted to read something for the week I don't remember much about it to be honest um, it was better than the first one. Um, this is the second book in the Rosemary Beaches series, I think. So that's what it's called. But yeah, so I do remember reading that. I think I only gave it a 3 out of 5, maybe. It was just, you know, one of those things where you enjoy it, but you don't really... Um, so I just walked past to my window. Moving on, um, the second new adult book that I read was Ten Tiny Breaths by K.A. Tucker. Um, which was the first book in the Ten Tiny Breaths series. That I, and I actually really, really like this. It's a standout among all the new adult books that I've read so far this year. Um, I have written a re review for it, so I'll leave a link to it down below. Any links for reviews will be down below for you guys to see. But I actually gave this a 4 out of 5 because I thought it was a lot more unique. And it wasn't just about, like, um, sexual awakening and, like, you know, relationships between um, the boy and the girl. Um, there's a lot more to it, um, which I found fascinating. So, yeah. And then I read Percy Jackson and the Greek Gods by Rick Riordan, or Rick Riordan uh, which is the companion novel to the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. It is essentially, essentially a modern day version of um, the, uh, Greek mythology, um, the, uh, how, what was it called? Um, the story of the universe and how it was created and it's narrated by Percy Jackson so you've got um, your witty banter, sarcastic remarks and just really funny retellings I guess. Um, I wasn't sure if I really wanted to read it or not but I read the uh, synopsis, no I read the sneak peek of the first chapter and it made me laugh so I was like okay I'm gonna do it. Um, it's It was also really good because I've actually have studied um, Greek mythology, I did classics or um, classical mythology last semester so I learned about the gods and then when I read this I was like oh yeah like I could connect and there's also some stories that I actually really hadn't really ever heard of um so it was really really enjoyable again I have my review for it down below I think I gave it a 4 out of 5 yeah I did I gave it a 4 out of 5 and then I read Champions at Fire's End by Charlotte Jane um and this is an arc I was contacted by Charlotte to check it out for her um and I figured I would give it a go because it's actually quite interesting it's um, about two teenagers who harbour a secret, like a, um, an element that they can unleash, you know, so, um, the main characters, April and Kyle, April has the element of fire and Kyle has the element of water and, um, they are two out of four champions, um, who have been selected by the immortals, which are actually Greek gods and the role or their jobs are to battle with each other and only two will, will remain and it's the immortals way of or the gods ways of um what's it called uh solving their own problems because they had two factions who kept fighting and then they caught a truce i guess and um made it this way so they're having, having their um the mortals or these four teenagers fight it out um, which I found really interesting, like a really interesting concept, and that's why I really wanted to read it. Um, when I read it though, 
I'm a bit iffy about it because um, I got really confused really easily on but I do have a review for it I managed to write a review and I managed to finish it off um, so I'll leave a link to it down below as well I gave it a three and a half out of five it is a series so I am interested to see um, what's going to happen in the next book but I mm, it's one of those books that was just like hmm I don't know how I feel about it the next one I'm so excited about, and that is Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mars. Um, I finished this in probably like two to three days because it is quite thick. But I loved it. I loved every moment of it. It is the third book of the Throne of Glass series. Um, and I feel like as the series, series progresses, the stories, like the books get even better. Um, I wasn't um, wowed by the first one, but this one was great. Um, there's multiple characters, like multiple point of views in this but I really loved all the characters that were introduced. I think this is what embodies um, the fantasy genre or this um, book out of the series in particular because you know you've got different characters, point of views, different um, worlds or like it's in the same world but different places that, is, that it's being set in but they're all linked um, together. I cannot talk today. But definitely, there will definitely be a, re a review for this. Um, I'll probably be writing it instead of making a video because there are so many videos out already and I have to go and watch them because I finally finished this. But I'm absolutely in love and I'm so excited for the next book which is actually only coming, which is actually coming out in one year so we have to wait. But I am probably going to begin this a 5 out of 5. And the last book I read for the month is Masquerade by Kylie Fornasia. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a new release as well as Air of Fire. This is set in Venice in 1750s and it revolves around a group of teenagers who, um, you know, is entwined to this world of like gossip and secrets and balls and all that scandalous stuff. So when I was reading this, it really had the tone of Cruel Intentions, which is a 1999, I think, movie, um, where, and I don't know if I'm going to spoil this, maybe I won't say it, but, okay, I think I've said, I think I've spoiled it by um, mentioning that movie, but yeah, it really had that tone around it, so I was like, you know, this just seems a bit interesting, and it also had a more of like Gossip Girl-esque um, sort of tone as well, because of the group of teenagers, but... The ending just fell flat to me and I wasn't sure what the ending was supposed to like be, like what was the purpose of this entire book then, what was I reading this for, you know those were my emotions when I finished it, um, I will be coming out with a review for this maybe, um, I'm not too sure yet but <laughs> just be because of the ending I am going to deduct marks so I think I'm only going to give this a 3.5 out of 5 because it was an enjoyable read, but there was not a lot of substance, um, and I just didn't get it. That's about it. At the moment, I'm reading The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, which hopefully I will be done by the end of this week, maybe. Um, so yeah, but that is all for my September wrap-up. I read a total of six books only which is quite a shame, um, but definitely, I hopefully I will pick up my reading pace um, in October. I am going to be filming a spring TBR um, very soon and uploading that, um, so keep an eye out for that, but otherwise, I hope you guys had a great reading month, and I shall see you guys next time. Yeah, see ya, bye!